So let's begin with taking a slow breath in. One, two, and then exhaling. One, two, three, four. Inhale. One, two. Exhale. One, two, three, four. Continue this in silence just for a few breaths. You're watching Throttle House. I'm Thomas. And I'm James. And we're driving the Lucid Gravity. This is it. 9.81 meters per second squared in SUV form. It has adjustable air suspension. It cuts through the air better than a Tesla Model X. It's capable of more range than a Rivian R1S, and it costs quite a lot. Until now, Lucid have only ever dabbled with luxury sedans, and in our opinion, they're really quite good. But since SUVs are so hot right now, without a place by the fire, it can get very cold. With the gravity, Lucid aren't just trying to stay in the game, they're aiming to plant a California bear-shaped flag on the top of the luxury SUV mountain. Well, here it is. Here it is. Yep. It looks quite big. It is quite big. No, but they've kind of gone this like long vibe. First of all, they're doing the weight loss thing that they're all doing, which yeah. is the black on the top, black on the bottom. Yeah, yeah, this little band well, here yeah. makes it look lower than it is. It looks skinnier. It does. Whereas if I wore a black hat and black socks yeah. <laughs> only, yeah. it wouldn't be a good look. No. <laughs> but this weighs, it's almost 6,000 pounds. So it's testing the old, uh, the old gravity. I see what you did there. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. This um, is the new color. This is the new, yeah, what's it called? It's called Tight. Lunar Titanium. Lunar Titanium. It's all space theme stuff. Yeah, yeah. And, and there's a, a, a bronze that's... Uh, interstellar. Supernova. Supernova. Bronze. Um, but so it, it's kind of deceptive because these are massive wheels, by the way. So this is 22 inch and 23 yes. inch on the back. Yes. So it makes the whole thing look a small room photos, but it's, yes. it's sizable standing next to it. It is. But it's... The but it is, it has got like a sleek vibe to it. Sleek? Like, it's sleek. It's sleek. Well, it's got that drag coefficient, obviously. It's very low. And it's, it's, it's almost got a bit of a... Like this nose looks shorter. Well, there's no than... engine they got to stick there. Exactly. Yeah, right? yeah. But, but it's got the wheelbase is just a bit longer than like an Ionic Five or a BMW iX, and that, that's kind of what it fights, right? This hasn't yeah. got the off-road vibe. No, it's not a. It doesn't feel Rivian. No. Right. It doesn't feel like a Rivian fighter. It feels more of a Range Rover fighter, right? When it, when you're when you're looking at the like yeah luxury upper class kind of fancy like. Well, but then there's know, the EQS. Go to the trail and don't go on the trail. I mean, I'm sure it could do it, but yeah. So you've got iX and EQS and Tesla Model X, your sort of luxury SUVs. Yeah. So this just has to look not worse than those. It doesn't really not that well. And the EQS is an amorphous blob. <laughs> yeah, it is. The iX is a face only a mother could love. Yeah. And this looks just like a Lucid. If you like the air, you'll like this. It's got the same design language. And it also has the same kind of vibe that it, it looks weird at first because it's a ground-up EV, so the proportions are kind of not what you're used to seeing in a gasoline vehicle, but there's like a reason for that, obviously, right? Yes. When you can do, like the, like the tire, look how far close to the front the yeah, axle but you, line but, but is, So right? if the wheelbase is longer, the yeah. ride gets better, right? I mean, to, to some degree, yeah. But dynamically, true. you lose some stuff. And they're pretty, they're, we'll, we'll drive it in a bit, but yeah. they've been boasting some pretty serious dynamic stuff with this. But uh, the, the whole idea of a ground up EV, and uh, lots of other manufacturers have completely failed to do this, is that when you start from the ground up, you can choose where you put things, like where you put the motors, where you, what you do with storage, how much passenger space you give it. And this has done that, right? So this has got a frunk, just like the air. So if I hold this down, this will open up. Right? And nice. you can do fun stuff like this. Ha <laughs> I like it. Right? Leathery. Yeah, have a seat. That's way too close to me. Why are you so close to me? This is meant for bonding. What are you trying to say? I, th I just think there's a romantic element to this, okay. to this seat. Okay, okay. This is kind of like a, more of like a father-son thing, you know what I mean? Because like you're, no one's dating 
with one of these. It's not it's not that kind of cookie. Can you move over just a little bit more? Okay, there's lots of you tail you tailgate. Yeah. You well, this isn't tailgating though. You front gate. Counterpoint. Okay. How, how necessary is this? Very like, necessary. Like, how comfortable are you right now? Yeah, but there's a there's seven seats behind me. Eight, seven, eight, nine. Well, they're I, just thinking. I feel sorry right? for nine then. <laughs> okay. Anyway. <laughs> So the whole idea with this, the point that I was making is that you can do stuff like this and there's storage here, right? There's a cup holder and there's other things you can get, you can get a netting for cargo and stuff. And in the, in the back, you can also do some cool stuff. Since obviously there's no traditional drivetrain, you get to leave space for stuff. Like being able... You got this. That's a cool light bar actually. Yeah, it is actually, yeah, it's really cool. Oh, you, oh it's, you can physically... You can actually physically feel it. It's really neat and I will... There it is. Okay. Opens up. Ta da. So you can actually hide the rear seats away completely. Check it out. Oh, I see. Right? And so they when they fold, they're, they're gone. And they drop down. And they drop down. And yeah. then the middle seats fold flat? The middle seats fold flat, so you can have basically this like massive cavern of space, right? right. It's cool. It, like, this, space. This, space. Space is the advantage, obviously, to when the electric like motors are like this big. Yeah. Come yeah. on, you do. <laughs> Do your thing. All right, well, come join me. We never get to do stuff in cool places. No, we don't, no. It's got the lights and everything. Like, maybe if we're lucky, there's two condoms on the floor where we film. Like. Right. <laughs> Have a seat inside, James. Okay. So this is very different. It's very different. Yeah. But also the same. Yeah, I see what you mean. Um, basically, they've moved the screen up. Yes. Because they apparently didn't like their own design of having the steering wheel kind of in the air, kind of cut into because the Because of the obs obscuration. Obs obfuscation. Because of the implication. Yeah. Of the obscuration. They said a word. We, we had to look it up. So basically it obscured parts of the screen. So they're like, well, why don't we just move the screen up a little bit? Well, they're not the only brand guilty of the steering wheel covering the new fancy gauge clusters. Yes. Most so it's people gone do down. That. Yeah. Well, they, they didn't just move the screen up. They also took the steering wheel and squished it. And squished it. Yeah. And gave it a new marker. It's not a noon marker, it's a 6 marker, because it's not at noon. The sunrise and sunset car, it's a 6 p.m. car, and yeah, 6 a.m. But why does it even have one? Like, usually that's for, like, you know, figuring out as you leaving the apex, you know what I mean? What's going on? I why? can't answer that. I don't have an answer either. Um, anyway, the design in here is, I, I do like it a lot, actually. Well, it's the same philosophy. It's the minimalism stuff. Yeah, it's but, milk. But, but I think it's milk, yeah. yeah. I think there's a warmth to it. I think, you know, you get out of the, there's the really minimalist, Tesla stuff, where yes. it's just like Apple, uh, Apple Store. It's like an Apple Store, yeah. This has a combination of materials going on that feels nice. You've sort of got, to, not just to see, but to touch. You've got the Alcantara yeah. sort of micro suede yeah. here. This is an Apple we're, Yeah, we're in the Napple. This is the Tahoe inside, the brown, this sort of tan right. brown leather. Which is actually interesting. I will say, usually, uh, these kind of like California, upstart, EV things, they really are like vegan leather, vegan leather, vegan leather. If you want to skin a cow, you can, and we have. You well, can. We didn't. But there's also the vegan. But options. also, be, yes. If also you don't want, options. if you don't want the yes. degloved cow, we have no longer got a vertical uh, infotainment center, nope. center thing. It's well, it moved up. It moved up with this. Well, right? it does, also doesn't move now. It's fixed. Yes. But it's supposed to be more in your eye I kind of missed that. I kind of missed the the, the screen no, going did. up and it. It never it made was sense. Pointless. It was pointless. You had this, to touch it in just the right way. This, okay. This makes more sense though. It does. Right? Because I mean. You got information here, you got information here. The way that they've actually, these were divided more in the air than they are in this. Right. Right. You can have stuff that's in here that's also in here and vice versa. I explained that badly. Does this not seem like a contender for the longest single digital gauge cluster screen? I thought every time we get in one of these. This is the longest single it digital. Was, it was the Lyric. It was the Lyric because All the right. Escalade was technically two screens. Three, I think three. Wow. We're yeah. going gonna to throw up and see if this is now. We're going to throw up? If it, <laughs> we're just gonna throw. It's everyone. so big, I barfed. Uh, I wonder if this is now the record holder. We'll put some text up to yeah, see if it is. Okay. Uh, but part of the new screen and stuff in the gravity is this new sanctuary mode. Sanctuary mode. A place you can feel safe. Well, you saw it in, in the gag at the beginning. Um, it, it doesn't actually include farts, but it does include. Well, what is it? It's for like chilling out it's when you're chilling. charging, right? It's stuff to do. Right? Work was stressful. You're on your way home. The kids are screaming. You want a break. You should charge your car. You rejuvenate. You rejuvenate. It manipulates the an animated ambient. No, let's not begin. No, I don't want to begin now. We've got the ambient lighting that changes depending on what you do. Yeah. And there's not just mindfulness. There's lucid spaces. Which is just another word for vibes. 
Because that's all it's this vibes. It's yeah. just vibes, right? But look, we're now in Joshua Tree. Listen, I at first I was like, ah, that's tacky, but then I sat here. I'm just like It's nice. Yeah, it's nice. Although I will say, seeing Joshua Tree at night, all I feel is cold. Yeah, when we were there it was cold. It got so cold so fast, but this is well, it's a vibe. Well, and like there's even karaoke in here. <laughs> so we can't obviously we'll play the that. audio of this because of uh, copyright. But yes, there is karaoke. Anyway, that makes sense because if you had like kids in the car and you want to occupy them for a few minutes while you're charging, yeah, like that is cool. I I think that's a really good what idea. What about occasions? Occasions. Happy New Year. Bit of fireworks. Bit of flair. World War Two bombs going off in the distance. Wait. So what's it? Where you just like play it like at you noon? 11.59 p.m. Run out, Everyone, run out to your lucid. Millions of reasons just to sit. <laughs> Honey, no, I can't kiss you at midnight. I have to go sit in the in the lucid. And kiss my car. Yeah. Okay, what else is there? Happy birthday. That's a, that's a bit sad, the happy birthday one. It just sits there and it sings to you for a little they're bit. All, they're all slightly sad if you just do it on your own. <laughs> this is a car that, as you can tell, is meant to be enjoyed with lots of people. Yes. And now easier to manipulate because you've got these finger button things. Yeah, so these can be like a little like touchpad or you can physically click them, which is nice. And we still have the volume it's still New Year's. Knob it? slider. It's still New Year's in you right now. Oh, it's still, why is it still New, New Year's? We never cancelled it. Oh no. Okay. Yeah. This is some fun, fun design stuff. This is tempered glass here, to reveal what you, you have. Use, I didn't realize this at first. When you see tempered glass, you can see through it. You can, see you can through actually it. see in there. Which it is kind really of has nice. like an old smoking room, like Mad Mad Men style. It's a bit Mad Men. I, I like it. It's a it. bit Mad Men. The well, key. I mean that, that makes sense because the inspiration for these cars and the design is mid-century interiors and furniture. Is it? Right? Yes, it is. Yeah. That's what they said. So it's the, it's the whole thing. The key has gained some heft. Which is important, I it was think. It was a little bit too light, yeah, a bit yeah. too sleek. And you can put it in here. Check this out. So this bit slides all the way away. Those are char you know, charging things. And then you've got these things, which they call like bento boxes. Ben yeah, bento units. Bento units, right. Because it's all customized. Right. Kind of fun. That's clever. I yeah. like it. And then obviously, because this is a large passenger vehicle, You've got some back seat flair. Yep. So the the seats, the row behind us, they're going. They're, I think they're toying with the idea of captain's chairs. So there'll be two. But this but is like big proper recliners. Yeah. This is like, the bench setup. Yeah. Uh, so not only is there tons of room, six foot six Harrison fits very comfortably in that middle row. That is a huge piece of glass. Yeah. Ma massive. Massive. Yeah. Yeah. You also so th the back of our seats are this Alcantara, which is just very nice to rub. Yeah. I don't know why it just is. <laughs> Uh, and then you've got these cool table units that come out in qu quite a cool fashion. I've said yeah. cool a lot. You have said cool. It says it does I'm in California now. I'm leaning against walls. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm in Joshua Tree. So the, 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 the tables are interesting because they have realized what, what a lot of us have realized. And yeah. some manufacturers are, are cluing in. We don't actually want your proprietary screen. Yeah, it looks day. horrible. Like, yeah. We don't want to have to figure out a new system. Just bring an iPad and stick it in there. Usually, if you can afford one of these, you can afford an iPad. So that makes sense. I like the chair. Yeah. yeah. And then those seats, you can electrically move back and forth yeah. to, to egress yourself. Am I saying that right? I think so. Into, into the third row, which is comfortable, even for a full-size adult. Yeah. I think, I think from just being inside, I think it's sort of done a pretty good job. Yeah. Uh, the squircle's a bit weird, though. Well, let's drive it and find out. Yeah. Okay, here we go. 800 horsepower. <laughs> That's over 800 horsepower. Over to you. 800 horsepower. This is good. It's obviously gained some weight over the air, but that is still a very quick That's vehicle. That's still pretty rapid. It's not a Model X Plaid Fighter, right? That's going to be if they make a Sapphire of this. Yes. So this is a development car, which yes. means it isn't totally dialed in. Among the things that are finished are the spring rates and the anti-roll bars. Yes. And Everything the, else the, is... The bushing's aren't right, the tuning's not right. We're sitting in lucid air seats, which are very comfortable. They are very comfortable, but apparently the actual eye sight line is a little bit off. But I am saying that right now, like driving this as it is, it doesn't feel that weird to me. How's that squircle? It's squircly. It's, it's very like squircly. It's exceptionally squircly, actually. More so than an Amira or a Corvette? Very much more than those, yeah. I don't know. I like. Uh, I, I, I kind of dig the, the the feel of this. I will say that this is very. This feels very much like a Model X right now. Right. Is In the, terms is, of where the steering wheel is, like with the yoke. With the yoke. But at least there isn't. There's a bit here that I can grab. How's the uh, sunset marker? The oh, the sunset. Marker. Is that is that's that what helping? we're calling it now? Yeah, yeah. The sunset marker. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. It's not helping me. 
No. No. <laughs> so this powertrain is representative though. Yes, it is. And it is it is quite quick. Obviously, like on the throttle, it's sharp, it's fast. And it is like kind of this, this tip we've come to know, this typical lucid motor sound. You can hear those motors, right? And you cannot toggle it on or off. No, we found this out in the air. And even the, even the suspension, even the way it's damped, feels almost finished. Like it feels very similar to an air from it, this passenger seat. It, yeah, it, well, from, from my perspective, I'm feeling it like pitch and dive a little bit more than I'd want as I come off throttle and brakes. Right. It does a little bit more than I wanted, but okay, well, now we're stopped. Now, now we're stopped. Yeah. Now, now this is when you have to put on Happy New Year's. Yeah, or happy birthday. Happy birthday. Or do it, do it. Even it's not your birthday. It's like when you go to a restaurant, you just want some cake. It's, yeah. It's, uh, it's my friend's birthday. It's, it's my birthday. You want to see my license? Yeah. It's just, it's obviously a little bit too soft, I think. This feels more like what Tesla would go. Yeah, it's finished. Right. Do you know what I mean? Based on what we've come to know from Lucid, just from our experience with driving their cars, they're a little bit more Porsche style in their damping. I think, given the choice, just from a driver's perspective right now, I'd take a steering wheel. And you know, I, like I didn't really. And some obscuration. And, and some obscuration. Oh my god! Like like an idiot. You get fired from Lucid if you said that. <laughs> They've just got rid of the obscuration. <laughs> and we've stopped again. This is LA traffic. This is how this car is going to live. It works very well in California. Yes, I mean, in in terms of so far from what I've found anyway. Obviously, we're not getting to drive this for very long, but the throttle and brake calibration is right. Very nice. smooth. Nothing nothing feels unnatural, right? Does it feel overly large, the footprint of the car? Um, like surely if you if you suddenly got an Audi Q7, for example, which is like a similar size, that would it wouldn't have the same center of gravity as this. It would feel like a big lope SUV. It would this feels small from where I'm sitting, primarily because of my vantage point and the hood. The nose is kind of stubby. Right. Right? And the wheels are right there. So like I can just kind of see the ground right in front of me. But the Model X is also good at that. The Model X is good well, at feeling very agile, is, very yeah. small. It's weird. I think once you get to these sort of sizable, you know, iX EQSs or two, well, no, screw the EQS, because EQ just means exceptionally crap with a Q. <laughs> But, but but yeah, cr crap. <laughs> yeah. But the but once you get to these bigger bigger vehicles as EVs, yeah, they they work. The lower center of gravity, the instant torque. As a passenger vehicle, it's a big big win. And it is. And I mean, in terms of like the packaging and stuff that you get, I mean. But but when are you gonna sit on the front of the car? If you have the answer, let us know. Otherwise, a lot about the gravity just makes sense. Whether or not it will top the EV SUV mountain remains to be seen, but first impressions tell us that it's a very well thought out machine. The interior is feature rich without being too overloaded and prioritizes what matters in a luxury SUV, carrying passengers and cargo comfortably. It just happens to also be rapid. The styling might not be for everyone, but at the very least, the form follows function. No millimeter of the gravity feels wasted. And if the final production version can outdynamic a Lamborghini Urus, then sure, great. But even in its early production form, it is a well-executed, confidence-inspiring drive. Also, how many cars do you know that will actually let you enjoy the view of Joshua Tree while you're at a charging port? Unless, obviously, you're actually in Joshua Tree, in which case you could just look out the window. Or sit on the front. Oh, there's a reason. I get it. Anyway, thanks for watching.